Hi everybody, I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Cavlin coming to you from Houston, Texas. It is Sunday, November 3rd, and here's an update on what's going on in the tropics. We have a brand new system that we are watching. This is potential tropical cyclone 18. Basically just a fancy way of saying we're expecting a storm to develop and we are within a certain time window of it impacting um, individuals. And so because of that, the Hurricane Center has to do some bookkeeping and they have to give it a designation so that they can start issuing watches and warnings and forecast products. That's why they give it that designation of being a potential tropical cyclone. Not quite there yet, but expected to become one pretty soon. So winds at 35 miles per hour. It's drifting to the north at about five to 10 miles per hour, but it's very disorganized at the moment. That will change though over the next few days. Here's the official forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, we expect it to become a named system again, probably sometime Monday. And then it will continue to strengthen as it moves through the Northern Caribbean, eventually becoming a Category 1 hurricane sometime late Tuesday into Wednesday before potentially making landfall along the west coast of Cuba. The next name on the list is Rafael. Uh, and so we are expecting Rafael to then emerge into the Southern Gulf of Mexico as a Category 1 hurricane. Here's the good news though. As we get into the end of the week and Rafael moves into the Gulf, watch how it goes from being a category one hurricane down to a tropical storm. So we are expecting this system to weaken as it moves north towards the end of the week. So the timestamp here is Friday. Winds go down to 60 miles per hour, but there's a really big envelope of possibilities on where this system could go. It could go into the Florida panhandle. It could go straight up towards Louisiana. It could go to the west and just kind of fizzle out across the Gulf. So a lot of options remain. We actually don't even know if this system will make landfall in the US. It could actually totally fall apart before that happens. So why do I say that? Take a look at this future track model. This is the European computer model. Again, pretty in line with what the Hurricane Center has, develops into a strong storm, into a hurricane, moves into the Gulf, and then just psh, falls apart. There's Friday. There's barely anything left with this storm. Uh, so the models do show this storm weakening as it lifts to the north. Why is that? Because as we get into the month of November, the atmosphere becomes very hostile across the United States for any tropical systems. And the reason for that is because during the fall and the winter months, the jet stream starts to move farther south. And there it is. I mean, that dark blue, all of that wind ripping in from the southwest, that's the jet stream. And so as potential tropical cyclone 18 or future Raphael moves north into the Gulf, it will start to, imp uh, it'll start to um, interact with this really hostile atmosphere here. All of this wind shear is going to start to shred this thing to pieces. So this system may not even make it uh, to the Gulf Coast. That being said, we've got about a week to watch it. So all eyes will be on this system, uh, especially once we go beyond Wednesday as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico. Also a good reminder that it's still hurricane. I know it's November now, but hurricane season goes until November 30th, where we'll pass the peak, which happens first week of September. So again, we're certainly down towards the bottom of the season, but we can get systems, I mean, we get systems all the way into December, but again, the likelihood of any impacts to the United States really do start to drop off once we get beyond the first and second week of November, just because these cold fronts start coming in a little more regularly. And that of course disrupts the, uh, the health of these systems and it helps to deflect them away from the US. So that's the latest on potential uh, potential tropical cyclone 18 we're going to be watching as we go through the upcoming week if you live in the gulf coast we don't need to panic there's no imminent threat but it will be a system to watch over the next few days